Three of the world's most extreme athletes are about to start the journey of a lifetime. Traveling around the world, motivated by one equal goal. They will fly by spectacular landmarks, under bridges and jump buildings in the Far East. Experiencing extreme conditions and amazing landscapes, they will discover that things don't always work out the way they want. I honestly don't think we should argue about this. They will test their friendship, explore new cultures and experience all sides of life, all in the search of the perfect flight. I always had to dream about flying since I was a little kid. Your, your life gets so much more rich and, and filled with joy because it's, it's not to focus on the money, it is more focused on having the smiles and wake up in the morning and just doing something you love doing. It's fun. Yoke is special, you know? You're like super stoked, always positive, full of childish energy. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna go from here, Espen. So we just arrived on Reunion Island. I love this place. I'm in love with this island. As soon as I exited the airport, I could see that this is pure paradise. It's a very unique place, and the oceans are completely blue. Everything looks so perfect. The mountains are unique. Yoki, Ludo and Espen are now on Reunion Island, a magical island in the Indian Ocean. The main mission for their stay is to climb and jump the 3,000-meter Piton de Neige, the highest mountain in the Indian Ocean. In the middle of this island, you have this huge volcano sticking high, high up, more than 3,000 meters high. As far as we know, it's only a couple of places where you can actually jump from the cliff. Well, you just have to go and find it. The unknown terrain on the island requires a lot of preparation. Before even considering a jump from Pitot de Neige, the guys want to get familiar with the mountains. So, the next morning, they start planning. For us, it was really important to start slow and get some reconnaissance jumps, test this place. The first thing we did was to go down to uh, ULM base, which is ultralight airplanes. Um, we wanted to go up uh, with the wingsuits and just check out the place, just get a feeling of what we were about to do. Uh, just fall out like this, because then the pin will hit you there. And be a little patient. Um, so we flew up in, in one airplane each because it can only be one person in each, each airplane. And it was, it was not the perfect weather that day, you know, you had clouds up in the sky and you couldn't see much. So we were flying up, all of a sudden we came above the clouds and it was like paradise just opened up to my eyes. just to get the message to the pilots, three to one, and try out really long. How are you doing? Ben? Ah, fuck my knee, man. Ah. The guys decide to take a few days off to enjoy the island and give Ludo's knee some time to heal. Our local dude, McCoy. 
and he showed us this awesome place in the middle of nowhere. So this is like a perfect little oasis where you can jump cliff diving into fresh, uh, fresh water. Seven meters deep. Wow. Now we're from Norway. Where is it? No, Norway. The boys have had their fun, but now it's back to planning. The mountains are tougher than they expected, and finding a landing area is crucial. So they go to scout the line uh, from the ground. We just uh, go a little bit more higher, and then we move on the other side. Just it, it's only like rivers, big rocks, like big like houses, and super dense vegetation. So if you don't land where you intend it, you might end up in a tree or on a steep hill and maybe break something. And then it's gonna take you, like it's gonna be a very big mess to get out of that and get the rescue to you. So it's uh, crucial to make the right uh, scoping and make the right decisions and be sure that you're gonna make it. It can't be right. We're not jumping there. And the only way to 100% understand uh, the magnitude of a mountain, uh, the size of a landing area, what I am to expect and understand when I'm flying, is to actually go there and see it with my own eyes. After several days of scouting, they find their landing area, a narrow road nearby. Now, they feel confident enough to start the climb towards Piton de Neige. I'm pretty much never stoked to start a hike. It's like, it's the time when I start the hike, it's like, oh. Now it's starting. For me, it's all about the flying. And hiking, it's like, it's like, ah, I know it's right there, you know, but it's like, I want to be there now. I want to jump now. The stash bag is smoking. Yeah. Your head is smoking even more. Yeah? <laughs> Your head is sick. <laughs> <laughs> the, the special thing with that jump is that we have to be ready at the exit when the sun comes up, because that place has that special feature that clouds comes up, builds up in the mountain very early in the morning. On the top, we're on top of the world, dude. Due to the tropical climate, the clouds build up in the morning. So they find refuge at a cabin and will climb the last part during the night to be at the exit at sunrise. One of a sudden, when you arrive at the top, the whole island is around you. It's a beautiful spot, you know? Very special. It was really nice atmosphere, there was no wind. So we could pack the parachutes and look at the view. And it was like, it was beautiful. Uh, time is 4.50 in the morning. And it's uh, going to be about time to start the last part of the hike for the Piton de Neige. Um, uh, but I also got happy when I saw the red block. hike. The block, you know, like, yeah, I think. They have two hours to complete the hike and be ready at the exit point. Naturally, the tension starts to rise before the big jump. It's too cold, huh? It's freezing. It feels like minus 15. It's really freaking cold. It's pretty scary, but awesome. It's just dark, black rocks completely unlandable areas everywhere. You could not see the landing area. It was just this dark shadow place on the backside. I realized that here, there are no rooms for error. This is, this is where we need to perform.
Ah, it was a bit steep when we came around the corner there, huh? Reunion Island opened my eyes. You look like you nailed it. It was that good. You know? I, was, I was actually sad leaving the place. In the next episode of The Perfect Flight, the guys travel to Voss, Norway. Vamos, vamos. They will jump the unforgiving Gudvangen cliff, the most breathtaking and dangerous jump Norway has to offer.